good afternoon. Um, just to explain a few points to you in relation to the matter of MK Party and uh, President Jacob Zuma, former President Jacob Zuma. You will know that since the announcement of the party, the ANC decided that uh, it will note the announcement made by the former president of the ANC in the country, and that uh, at an appropriate time, the ANC will respond uh, to that uh, development led by former president. <coughs> Subsequent to that, we held a, a meeting of the National Executive Committee in Bombela to finalize the January 8 preparations and the January 8 statement. And we did make it clear even then that uh, the National Executive Committee will, after January 8 celebration, meet as it process matters related to many other issues among others we will then deal with the issue of mk party as well as uh, the standing of president jacob zuma in the anc post the major announcement that he made on the 16th of december so there has never been a formal position of the anc on president zuma an MK party. Of course, there have been uh, uh, responses uh, across the board, uh, but from the National Executive Committee of the ANC, there's not been any response to this development. The National Executive Committee of the ANC in its uh, regular meeting has uh, laid the matter to rest. And today we will communicate the decision of the National Executive Committee in relation uh, to this matter. The NEC of the ANC uh, in a statement of the National Executive Committee of the ANC on the membership of Jacob Zuma, 29 January 2024. The NEC took note of the announcement by former ANC President Jacob Zuma on 16 December 2023. He announced that he will be campaigning for another political party and further launched a series of vitriolic attacks against the ANC and its leadership. This development occurs in a context where anti-transformation forces are converging to stop the march towards a united, non-racial, non-sexist, democratic and prosperous country that truly belongs to all. Part of the anti-transformation tactics are to encourage rebel breakaway groupings to erode the support base of the African National Congress. Some of these parties masquerade as more radical than the ANC, but their revolutionary sounding rhetoric cannot hide the reality that they have common cause with the forces opposing transformation. The shared goal of all these forces is to deprive the ANC of the ability to use state power to effect change. The formation of MK Party is not an accident. It is a deliberate attempt to use the proud history of arms struggle against the apartheid regime to lend credibility to what is a blatantly counter-revolutionary agenda. It was 
it was the sacred uh, ground rule of Mkondo Wesizwe, the glorious people's army which all its members were taught that this army was established to advance the political goals of the African National Congress. It implemented what the ANC NEC instructed it to do. The war against poverty, inequality and unemployment remains the primary objective of our transformation struggle. At this point in the National Democratic Revolution, there is no need to advance this program through the opportunistic use of military symbolism. The challenges of our struggle for a better life for all are difficult and diverse and require honest and dedicated leaders. To suggest that the solutions are easy is dishonest and smacks of populist self-gratification. At its last two national conferences, the ANC vowed to renew itself to more effectively address society's challenges and conduct its affairs in line with its core values. The ANC is committed to developing and, where necessary, correcting its members and leaders. However, as renewal gains momentum, Zuma and others whose conduct is in conflict with our values and principles will find themselves outside the African National Congress. The JZ Party project aims to cast doubt on our entire constitutional democracy. The ANC categorically rejects the dangerous suggestion that our electoral system can and will be manipulated. The Independent Electoral Committee is one of the most trusted public institutions. The entire voting process and counting process is monitored by party agents from all competing parties and international observers who have repeatedly declared our elections to be free and fair. The people of South Africa and the ANC will not allow a Renamo UNITA project in our country to discredit democratic outcomes that do not favor them and use violence against the people as a bargaining tool. This is the fundamental danger of the JZ project. It targets extremist instincts in our body politic and riles up a political base to foment social unrest. His actions reinforces the work of the primary right-wing opponents of the National Democratic Revolution. In this regard, in assuming this reactionary public posture, former President Zuma is actively asserting himself as the figurehead of counter-revolution in South Africa. Former President Jacob Zuma is actively impugning the integrity of the ANC and campaigning to dislodge the ANC from power while claiming that he has not terminated his membership. This conduct is irreconcilable with the spirit of organizational discipline and letter of the ANC constitution. This chain of events requires the organization to invoke measures to protect and preserve its integrity and prevent further damage to its reputation. Pursuant to this, the National Executive Committee, during its ordinary meeting held from 26 to 29 January 2024, resolved to invoke Rule 25.60 of the ANC Constitution. I quote, if justifiable exceptional circumstances warrant an immediate decision of temporary suspension of a member without eliciting the comment or response of such member as contemplated above, 
the National Executive Committee, the National Working Committee, the Provincial Executive Committee, the Provincial Working Committee, as the case may be, may summarily suspend such member, close quote. The NEC concluded that exceptional circumstances exist to justify and warrant an immediate decision to suspend former ANC President Jacob Zuma in line with Rule 25.60, as stated above. The ANC is willing, able, and ready to defend the gains of freedom and our constitutional democracy. Accordingly, we call on, we call on, on ANC members, our alliance partners, and all South Africans to reject the agenda of the JZ Party project and all other divisive anti-transformation and counter-revolutionary projects aimed at derailing the forward march to a national democratic society. To this end, in conclusion, we have as well affirmed the action taken already by the organization uh, to challenge the existence of this MK party as it represent, as it is the symbol of the liberation movement led by the African National Congress and at the same time the deregistration of this party in the electoral court of South Africa. And that has been sub submitted and two, we have also challenged from the point of view of the trademark of Umkonto Wesizwe, the existence of this party as Umkonto Wesizwe is the trademark of the African National Congress. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, SG. I will